Hi guys, Jason Linder here. We are in the streets of London, right Em? We are. We are in the Whitechapel area of London, which is where Jack the Ripper wreaked havoc from 1888 to 1891. And uh, I just want to start this video off by saying, um, I'm not going to do a kill scene. I'm not going to do a death scene. Um, I don't feel comfortable doing that. I, I, don't, I don't like watching films that actually depict uh, women being uh, brutalized and so I'm not going to do it for this. I'm a fan of the horror genre, not but not gory stuff. I, I don't like gory stuff. I never I don't watch it and I'm not going to create it. And so what we're going to do tonight is we're going to film a special for you guys to watch how to do some really cool character type shoots. We have Emily dressed up as one of the murder victims, the prostitutes. Even though in real life she's the exact opposite. Uh, we do have a Jack the Ripper that looks amazing. We had a costuming done at a shape shop called Angels and we'll explain all that later but I just want to make it clear uh, my opinion on men who hurt women is they are the lowest form of, of human beings. Uh, Jack come on over and say hello. Hi there folks my name is Derek Martin and I'm joining Jason here. So what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna shoot these two beautiful people. Uh, I'm shooting today at the A7R3. We're filming on that's the A9. The camera on the back is an A7 III. We're lighting with um, a Rotolite EOS up front and uh, let me tell you the most difficult thing about shooting in a location like this for a period piece is we don't have the budget and we don't have the uh, CGI of Hollywood where we can just create a world of the 1800s. It, it definitely is a challenge and so as a photographer what we look for is places that we can shoot. It's funny we actually came over to this wall there, and I'll show you a test shot that I did with Emily before we got the lighting over and it was a beautiful like butcher paper in the window is this beautiful yellow and then as soon as we got over here literally three minutes later it had they turned the lights off inside so we're working around we're using accent lighting from some of the folks who live here and there's satellite dishes above us but we're having to create this as if it isn't because the, the whole point of this is doing this without having to do a ton of photoshop and to show what you guys can do in camera anyways we're going to start shooting and share it with you let's do this Yeah, let's get some profile lighting going on now. Uh, Emily, come this way, honey. There you go, Darren, go further that way for me. There you go, just like that, beautiful. Look that way like you're waiting for your next. There we go, beautiful. That's stunning. Now for the viewers at home, I'm gonna um, actually switch to uncompressed raw. Let me get a shot of you right in front of the window, move right here. And you're gonna look that way as if you're waiting and we got to watch the shot the reflection of the uh, AO so go back go back more for me right there look that way Emily. Yeah. takes a lot longer because it's uncompressed it's still riding 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 now what's making this shot is the lighting, obviously the model, but you gotta have an accent to your shot. So if you're shooting this, getting this, this window is critical actually for what we're trying to accomplish. Tilt your head this way. Wow, those cheekbones. Thank you, Darren. down a little bit for me brother there we go all right ripper you up where do you want me this is really pretty right here. go that way the lightning come in there we go no, go back right there yeah look right at me I love that keep looking at me Derek turn your head back that way Yep, just like that. One, two, three. Stay still. Now, one point of people will ask, how do you get, uh, how do you keep reflection, light reflection off of glasses? And the way you do it is by keeping the light to the side. Look that way.
Now what we need to do is light Emily. Emily's perfect. We just need to light her with a Neo. I have the Neo turned off turned off to the side just so it doesn't it's not as intense because we're only at 10% on this. And the good thing is I can match the color temperatures on these to give me a really nice warm look. No, hey, hey, every day is a school day. I'm learning a lot here. Me too. So, okay. you wanna go for a drink later? It might not end well. Let's do it. It might not end well. Let's do it. Hi. What did you yeah, say? Let's go. Main way in the veil. It might not end well. It oh. might not end well. I'll translate for you. Don't Thank worry. you. Ah, this guy's a man. This guy's a man. Look, there we go. Uh -huh. <laughs> you thinking about me when you do that? Don't move. shadow shot look at this so what I want to do is get you underneath his shadow okay wow yeah how oh, scary it is scary as hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah look at that look at that look at that look at that okay so to get a shadow we gotta get the light has to be closer turn your body this way for me there you go yep that. face this way or yeah face towards her the wall towards me Derek. Derek look at me. Come this way. Okay Emmy you go right against the right in there. Look at him. Let's get you guys centered in the window. Bring it right above him Darren. Wow. That's amazing. Turn to look the other way, Ripper. All right, I grab the AOS and bring that over. That's pretty amazing. You look great, Derek. He had the he had the death stare going on. I know I was focused. Man. Yeah, you're in the you're in the zone. Spread your uh, feet out a little bit for me, brother. There you go. Bring your hands out of your pockets like you're getting ready to do some mayhem. Perfect. Yep, I love that. Beautiful. One. I love this lighting. That's good stuff. My new bud. My new buddy. Yes, you are my new buddy. <laughs> my, <laughs> keep my, me close, I'll keep you close. Okay. Your your hair will keep me warm. I really like you. I just I need you to translate when you speak. You've got skulls, bro. Skirls? Squirrels? Skills. Skills? You Skills. you have scales? <laughs> Now that is, this duo is the softest light you could find. For the viewers at home, put this on me right now. Um, if you don't listen to any other advice I give you about gear, the AOS inside of the halo with a monopod will change your lighting. It will change your photography. It will change your shots. If you're not seeing it with this shoot, I, I don't know how else to convince you. Um, to be honest with you guys, Rotolite sells these all over the world through a ton of different distributors. The amount of uh, commission that I get off of when people buy Rotolites is very small in comparison to how many are purchased when I release a video. I'm making these videos quite simply because this is the best lighting out there. This Westcott Halo in with the Rotolite EOS inside of it with any monopod is such an insane combo. And it's the future of lighting in the world of photography. You're watching it happen. All right. We need to illuminate this wall. Yep. So let's use the Neos for that. Wow. 
what an amazing difference. And this is how you guys can create your own little movie studios. Wow. What a difference, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. My face is so white. We did it. You, no, you did it. You did wonderful. Derek, Darren's getting a whole body cramp from doing this. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> This is my gym. This is his gym. That's, that's, that's your gym. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Derek, go over there. <laughs> you're, you're creeping up on her. Oh, Emma. Is this his part? All right. All right. Oh, Emma. <laughs> All right. Now take a step forward, but don't keep stepping. Just take a step forward. There you go. Yep, yep. Yep. I told you not to keep coming. That's, yeah, I, I want that foot forward. So, yeah, exactly. Okay. One. <laughs> These are ridiculous. This is a hundred percent Santa Mario Guadalupe. That's gorgeous. One, two, three. That's phenomenal. You're both. That's phenomenal. Emily, look at me. You're scared. Beautiful. Okay, hang on, I'm gonna stop down a little bit to get more in focus. Really jack up the ISO, here we go. Okay, come off the wall a little bit for me. There you go, there we go, Freaker McGee. <laughs> That's gonna get deleted from the video. <laughs> okay, now you're scared you're going against the wall. There, yeah, that was great, but you just did. You looked up, you're scared, yeah. Even this shot of the video is something out of a movie. It's ridiculous. Okay, I need you more menacing. Yeah, but I need intent. Intent is, is driven by your body language, which is your foot. Yes, there you go, yep, perfect. I wonder if we can monster like him. When all else failed, grab a soda can. Or the half of one. That simple. <laughs> it is that simple. Wow. That's just tremendous lighting. It's too warm. He's too, uh, no, it's too welcoming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a rock there. Okay, Emily, you've fallen now, hun. That's how he's going to capture you, falling down. Okay, come in for me, Derek. That's perfect. Now, Derek, remember, it's not a video. So, steps. Yeah, so, yeah, steps. <laughs> if that was a movie, it would have been perfect. Step, step, now, step when I tell you to. One. Okay, take a step towards her. Right there, bring the cape around. Emily, start pushing him off. There you go. Bring the cape around. All right, that's, that's as far as I want to go with that. All right, great job, guys. That's it. The happy couple, one, two, three. <laughs> so that is a wrap. We had an amazing shoot. Emily did amazing. Thank you, thank you, so did you. Lots of fun as always. Derek. Yes, my sir. You did amazing. Thank you, brother. Thank you very much. And it was a privilege to be part of the team. You did a wonderful job, it's truly. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you brother. So much. We on, truly man. couldn't come have done on, this without come on, Darren. Come on. Come on. The whole team. He always helps, and I really appreciate that. So you can follow him at Darren Fellows Photography. That's 
that's it. You can follow her at m.explorers. Where can they follow you, brother? And you can follow me at Delmar Grubath. You're going to want to spell that. <laughs> Just to make that easy, is D E L G R U T H. H. What the H? <laughs> is that it? Aye. Is that it? <laughs> Simple but elegant. <laughs> Can I say it again? Del Margaret Rath. It, it's Gaelic. <laughs> you didn't spell that. It's Gaelic. There's yeah, like three extra syllables. Del Margaret Huff? Del Margaret Rath. And spell it? Right, so the spelling of it is my name is D E L. Oh, fact, I did spell that wrong. Yeah. D E L M A R dot Gubrath. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> mm. I need to rethink that. If you're watching this, you can see one of the many reasons why I love using the Rotolite system. It just gives you the ability to light like Hollywood at a fraction of the price, which uh, for photographers out there, I truly believe this is a new uh, new Quotes. way, new, new uh, style and, and uh, way for us to, to shoot and to create our imagery. Would you agree? Of course, 100 percent 10% of the group of that. Oh, I, I would be remiss if I didn't uh, mention um, that uh, Miss Emily did all of the work for finding wardrobe and Emily did all of her own makeup and I think she just killed it. Thank you. You did an amazing job. Thank you. So this is an insane... I tried my hardest. We're not talking about you yet. So uh, <laughs> this is an insanely talented... <laughs> <laughs> May I share a little bit of background that I learned sure. with regard to the Why makeup? Not? So in try, all my try to get through a sentence. <laughs> so, in all, <laughs> so in all my searches on uh, the internet, on YouTube and whatnot, I had learned that the 1800 style uh, makeup, uh, typically they went for um, not a natural look. Makeup was applied very lightly to the face. Um, excuse me, it was supposed to be really, really white because there was a high prevalence of smallpox in that era. And so the, the white makeup was to cover up the scars. Um, if you had a darker skin tone, it typically meant that you worked outside and you weren't as wealthy. So, um, you know, my, my dark skin tone with the white makeup, you know, kind of served that, hey, I was working outside. Um, the pinks and, and all the blues and the purples and stuff, that again has to deal with it not looking so natural. It was applied to the face just to uh, show that, hey, you had some makeup on. I, I want to make it clear. One of the reasons why we took it easier on um, the way that this ended is because I don't in any way want to uh, glorify, um, you know, serial killers and rapists. And Jack the Ripper is, a, you know, if I was a, if I was a director, if I did movies, I mean, I, this is the kind of movie I'd love to make, but I would want to make it in a way where it wasn't, um, it didn't brutalize women. I think anything that we watch that brutalizes women... Um, to be honest with you, I think that it has a, uh, a negative impact on society. I really believe that. And so this is a way of trying to do a shoot where um, we're telling a story. This is a way to tell a story without showing the brutalization of women. We wanted to tell a story, but we didn't want to do it in a way that was disrespectful to women. And I, and I hope that came through. One, to that end, one thing that we do in the world of photography is that to be candid, in the world of just media, is that we use a lot of nudity, we use a lot of yep. um, gore, we use yeah. a lot of violence oh, to, wow. to, to sell stuff. And the way to get there, you can be better than that. And yeah. you can be a better artist, and that is what I'm really trying to convey. Of course. All right, so as a woman, um, I think, Jason, you portrayed this violence. Um, it was so well thought out, and you portrayed it very carefully in that um, you were able to tell a story. You know, clearly I, we were on the street, and, and then I came over here. I was uh, being chased by you, but there was no violence in the way that I actually made it to the ground, you know. Um, it's just like the scene jumped and okay now now I'm feeling frightened and now I'm, I'm going down so I wasn't really victimized you weren't using uh, although I was you know fulfilling the role as a prostitute or a servant um, you, you weren't portraying my body that way no. um, we weren't really touching each other in that way you were respected yeah like I think she made a good point when it said it kind of skipped a few things I didn't want to show any scenes that showed him throwing her to the ground 
anything like that, her being pulled or grabbed or pushed or punched or anything of that nature. Right, and I had even suggested, we're like, okay, how do we do this kill scene? How do, how do we do this in a tactful manner? And I was like, oh, maybe we could use a scarf. Like, hey, we're walking down the street and now he's grabbing it and for some reason it, you know, comes around my neck or something and I'm, I'm holding it and I'm scared. So that was my suggestion. Jason thought about it. And, eh. So you you deemed against it and i think that that was a good idea because now i was mm-hmm. able to just go to the ground and as safe as i could it's kind of like yeah and it's kind of like just a curtain like the end of a show yeah mm. you know yeah that's that's the way i saw it yeah. and i how it gets there yeah yeah so until yeah. next time keep shooting never give up on your dreams find the right gear that works for you and darren remember you only have one chance to get it right that's yep. right we'll talk and to you fall down Pick yourself back up. Oh my gosh! <laughs> so you had it. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye. 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 <laughs> All right, that's a wrap. I love that. Oh, it didn't record. Let's take it now. Oh yeah, it recorded. Yeah, that would have been like. <laughs> you guys still here? Hello. Talking to you. Hey guys, if you want to learn online with me, go to Patreon.com/slash Jason Leonard Photography, and you will be able to continue this craziness online from anywhere on planet earth with me if you want to join me live go to jasonlinear.com slash workshops and you'll get to see me in my full glory live and in person guys i think there's a smudge on there yeah i got it talk to you later guys bye